Hello, good morning, good afternoon, uh, wherever you are in the world. I don't know what time of day it is, but welcome to this hour of Verbling, a speaking and reading class for intermediate. And I am John Eric, your Verbling teacher from New York City, hanging out today from Lisbon, Portugal. Hope to find out a bit about you and where you're from. Three quick rules to help you in my class. Turn off your microphone, tune in to the new words you're going to learn, and open up by speaking to your classmates. Remember, this is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. The more open you are, the more feedback I can give you, and the more you'll learn. And that is what we're all here to do. So that's a little bit about me. And now I'd like to say hello to some of you out there. Oh, it's Mr. Roman. I remember you, Mr. Roman. Hello there. Hi, how are things? Things are pretty good, Mr. Roman. <laughs> and you've got a different, you've got a different, I wanted to ask you about your last picture. You changed it. Uh, it's not there. But it was very interesting. I was going to send you a message. Bef the, the picture you had on your profile before this one, it looked like you were with a tribe somewhere. Wasn't that you? <laughs> yes, it, it was uh, during my last travel to India. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it was uh, Indian uh, city Mahalipuram, and I uh, took a picture with local people. And it was funny because all these people was uh, shorter than I. Yes, you you were. <laughs> I could figure out which one was you right away. You were the one standing above everyone else. Yes. <laughs> very very interesting. Okay, let's say a quick hello to. We've got Rodolfo back. Hello, Rodolfo. Hello, Igor. Hello, Mr. Alpha Hello. Pilot. The secret, mysterious Alpha Pilot. And, and Biliana. Hi, Biliana. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Excellent. Nice to have you with us. Oh, and we've got, we've got Mr. Atai joining us. Excellent. All right. We're starting to get some people coming in. And Vincenzo is here, too. This is going to be a full house. And just for one second, we even got to see Vincenzo's face, but then he turned I off his. <laughs> you again. For thirty seconds, no, for ten seconds, we got to see your face, but then you turned off your camera. Uh, yeah, I turned off my camera because my connection is not well. Ah, uh, I'm sure because it's not because you're not pretty, Vincenzo. We all think you're pretty, so don't worry. <laughs> Listen, everyone, I want to play you this video if you haven't seen it. Uh, because this is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about this interesting Canadian. <laughs> and, you know, it's actually a pretty good video. Uh, and, uh, and we're going to be talking a little bit about talent and hopefully getting some new and interesting vocabulary to discuss these things. So I'm going to give you a link. No, I'm going to turn on the YouTube app. This never goes well, but I'm going to give it my best. Uh, and when I play the video, I'm not going to be able to see any of you. So, oh, Roman has added the YouTube app. I'm just going to accept. Let's see if it works. It's downloading. Uh, I'm going to try to make this work. Things to remember. Yes, okay, good. All right. So, my only problem with the YouTube app is that when I when I play a video, it blocks my screen and I can't see what's going on. Okay, has everyone accepted the YouTube app? Is no anyone... No has, anyone uh, has anyone... Has yes. anyone... Yeah? Okay. Has anyone not accepted the YouTube app? Okay, I don't hear anyone, so I'll assume <laughs> everyone is there. Yeah, for me, it's not downloading. If you can put the link in the chat. Okay, hang on. One second, I'll put it. N now it's okay. It uh, is, yeah. It's okay, but also for me. Okay. In any case, there's the link in the chat. That's the direct link to the video. I just wish I, when I when I when I put in the link in the YouTube app, I get this giant square that covers my screen and I can't get rid of it. I have to figure out how to fix that. Okay, we're, we're going to listen, we're going to 
watch and listen to this. Is there anything that I want to say to you? There is something I wanted to say to you. Um, uh, what did I want to say to you? Hmm. Okay. I wanted to say that... Um, uh, I don't know what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. Forget it. <laughs> I know I have something that I want you to do, but I can't remember what it is. Yes, okay, I remember. Um, I want you to tell me your impression of this in interesting individual. And I'd like you to tell me what you think about this as a music video. Remember, this isn't shot by professionals. If you think it works as a video, I'd like you to tell me a reason why you think it works. If you think it's effective, uh, what is it about the way it was filmed or the way the music was recorded or the way it was performed that makes it effective? I'm just curious what you think. Okay, are you ready? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A tie, you're supposed to say, Ready! <laughs> ready! Here we go. Okay. Let's hit the road. I'm already getting sad. Listen to that music. You can put your comments in the chat box, everyone. I'm writing some comments now. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. <laughs> I think you get the idea. And so Atai is saying, talk to me, Atai. Why, why do you think it's not real? Uh, because it's, uh, it's a, like uh, almost a perfect video, I think. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's very beautiful. And the shots was, were, were taken from outside the earth, I think, no? Yeah, absolutely. So it, it, it almost, there's a shot at the end, I'm not going to play the whole thing. There's a shot at the end, which is amazing. Uh, you've got the link in the chat window, and you've got it on the document, too, if you want to open it later. There's a shot of the sun rising uh, over the curvature of the Earth. And so it's nighttime on the Earth, and all the cities are lit up. And it just, it looks, it looks artificial because I think we're so used to CGI and we're so used to special effects 
it almost doesn't look real. It looks too, too, somehow, I don't know. It just doesn't look real in some way. But yeah. But anyway, it is real. Absolutely. It's real. It's kind of amazing. This guy was a big YouTube success. So, do you think this works as a music video? What do you think, Rodolfo? Is this a good music video? Yes, it is. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I like the video. And I liked uh, the, that anti-gravity -gra effect. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. an effect. It's really anti-gravity. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was... Well, I, li I really like that. I think I think it. Uh, yeah, we're so used to space movies. It's hard to even use the right vocabulary. It's not an effect. It's really happening. Biliana, I think you may disagree that it's a good video, right? I heard a little bit of disagreement there. Well, something something missing there. I don't know. It's weird to uh, sing and uh, some uh, some romantic romantic. Song. Yeah, yeah, it's a very romantic song. It's true. In uh, in that space. In, Interesting. That space, you know. <laughs> so I don't, I don't like exactly all that. Interesting. So everyone, we've got our first music critic. Uh, you can read it in her new book, "Why We Shouldn't Film Music Videos in Space" by Biljana Milsevic. I'm just kidding. Our first music <laughs> critic. Um, what do you think, Akma? Do you think that the romantic quality of the song somehow doesn't fit in that space? Do you feel the same way? Mm, uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay, in general, uh, it has uh, uh, added a new dimension, really, yeah, for me. But um, you feel like, uh, you know, uh, romantic, um, usually romantic uh, words um, flows smoothly. In right, this, right. In, in this uh, case, I feel like it flies and, <laughs> and goes up, 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 <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and disappeared. I don't know why. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, let's talk about the smoothness. Um, the song is really sort of... How would you... Let's put this way. How would you describe the mood of the song? We've got romantic. What are some other words that come to mind when you hear the song? In this particular way, there's also the original. But how does this make you feel? So you've got some sort of romantic lyrics. That's true. What are some other words that come to mind? Life. What? No? Say again, Atai? Uh, it just makes you feel like you are light. You don't have... Uh, you are not heavy. No. Like you are lying? Lying? Like lying to a person? No, no, to light. Light! Oh, light. Like the opposite of heavy. Exactly. Fantastic. And we can even say weightless, maybe. Yes, weightless. This is the word I was searching uh, for. Excellent. What would you say, Rodolfo? I think we cut you off. Well, I said that uh, I felt melancholic during the Melan Melancholic, yeah. Kind of melancholic. It has a kind of melancholy feel, it's true. Maybe even more than the original, Nostalgic. actually. Say again? Nostalgic. Nostalgic. Interesting. Nostalgic. Sadness. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you would think you would think he would <laughs> you would think he would make a happier song, right? When he's up and doing the thing that he loves the most, it's a big YouTube hit, but it's it's peculiar in a way. The original song. Do you know about the original song? No. Anyone know about the original song? I know a little bit. David Bowie. Yeah, yeah it's David Bowie. David Bowie song. Yeah. And and uh, do you know anything about when it was or why it was written or no. he was he wasn't famous at the time. It's a song that it's a song that started to get him noticed. He wasn't famous till a couple of years later. He was really young. This was this was a ninth, this was written for the Apollo moon landing, the original song. 
So, what year was that? 1969. 1969, right. So, this was written as, a, as a, something that you don't hear so much these days, as a novelty song. By the way, Luis, why don't you come into class? Are there spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Luis, there's space for you. Come into class. Don't stay out there. So this was a novelty song. What do I, what do I mean by novelty? Novelty comes from the word, it's related to the word novel, which is sort of the idea of something new. So what do you think a novelty song is? Something novelty. Something Creative. serious or not serious? Let's start with that. Creative. Creative? Creativity, yeah, it, it's absolutely something creative, right? Or, original. Creative and original, but there's another idea attached to it. Creative and original around what? A novelty song is something creative and original around something that you wouldn't expect a song to be about. You wouldn't necessarily expect there to be a, a pop song written about the moon landing, or it's not like that. So it's usually something that's not very serious or something that is unusual in some way, right? The creativity is to make it stand out, to make something that you wouldn't expect. Um, so not a serious, emotional, heartfelt song. Although this is a, this is a very romantic song, that's true. Sorry, Biliana, you were saying? No, uh, no, nothing. I just hit my hand. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> if you were weightless, that wouldn't probably happen. You'd be you'd be able to float away. You see, it's all connects somehow. I'm not sure. Um, so I agree with you. I felt the same way. Kind of melancholy. This idea of weightlessness. Okay. By the way, there's there's a line in the song, "Sitting in my tin can," right? One thing that's interesting when I look at this video is that I feel this sense of um, just vast space. I feel this sense of enormity, enormity, meaning big spaces. Because he's, well, there is a shot where he's looking out the window. So he's, it's in a very confined space. So, Biliana, you were saying it didn't feel right. For me, that's the part that I like the best was that it feels weird to have these romantic... Well, that's what you were saying, Ahmed, isn't it? That it feels unusual to have this romantic sort of music and lyrics in this strange, confined, technological space. It yes. brings another dimension. Okay. Yes, but, I, but I don't have a strong emotion when I look at that spot. I you, think... You must, you must, uh, you must make song uh, to make people emotions big and strong, and right. that's not happen here. Mm -hmm. it we is call interesting, but it's not. We we call that evoking emotion. By the way, the song should evoke a strong emotion, give a strong emotion. Okay. Evoke is like the word provoke, right? It, they mean almost the same thing. Evoke means to bring out. It should bring out a strong emotion from us, and it doesn't happen here. For you, it doesn't happen. <laughs> All right. So, um, for me, it does, actually. Uh, I, the only thing I find distracting is his voice. But, but whatever. He's not a professional singer. I find it a lot. But I like, I like his falsetto. Did you hear his falsetto? How, how did he get there? How did he what? Get there. Get what? Well, <laughs> you mean film the space. video? He's yeah. a professional uh, cosmonaut, Canadian. Yeah, not a cosmonaut. Do they say cosmonaut? Cosmonaut, yes. Do they say that in Canada? I thought they said astronaut. No, no, cosmonaut is a Russian name. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me look one second. <laughs> he's, he's, you know, because for us, space is astro and for you it's cosmo you know because we, we have two different spaces <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding yeah. I don't we, we tend to say astronaut meaning up in the air um, so here's a quick question for you um, how did he do it I don't know I'm not sure we're gonna talk more about his talent 
than how he was able to do that. I want to know how he smuggled the guitar onto the spaceship. Surely they must have checked his bags before he got in. Uh, what do you know about the International Space Station? By the way, I'm just reading off of the warm-up on the document. If you don't have the document open, let me give you a link right now in the chat window, which is here. If you need it, open it. Look at the first question. What do you know about the International Space Station? Can it drive? Sorry? Uh, yes, I know something. Talk to me. Um, I know that we station uh, changed uh, 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 Soviet uh, uh, orbital station uh, piece. I don't know. We call it Mir, but in uh, mm -hmm. English it was piece. Mm -hmm. In English we call it Mir as well. Mir, yeah. Ah, okay. And uh, now it is uh, uh, now uh, vote. Uh, International Station now is a, a project uh, where a few countries take part. Uh, it is a so union. It's a, it's a joint venture between different yeah, countries. Jo joint venture between the USA and uh, Russian Federation. Right. And uh, uh, now uh, the USA. Uh, don't you uh, doesn't use their uh, space shuttles because uh, this program uh, is uh, up to date and uh, most of uh, space. Uh, uh, Roman, do you work for the Federation? <laughs> Are no, you an no, astronaut? No. Okay. No, but I. Uh, you know a lot I about this. It's interesting uh, in uh, with news. It is so, true. Yes. And, and the, the shuttles are were very old. They were from the 70s, and you know we had some accidents, so they had to retire the fleet, and they don't have the budget to replace them. So right now, <laughs> it's not so easy to get up and down. That's why that's why we are very lucky to have Kazakhstan, right? Yes. Kazakhstan is where we're landing. I don't know if that's where we're taking off from, but that's where we tend to be landing these days. Um, Another question I have for you there on our worksheet is what is a pop astronaut? I think this might be, is this the first? <laughs> do you think this is the first pop astronaut? What do you think? Maybe it's first famous pop astronaut. <laughs> well, let me, let me put this out to the whole group. What does pop mean? Let's just be clear about that. Pop means what, Biljana? What's the full word? Do you know? Popular, maybe. That's it. Pop is short for popular. Oh. So, is this the first pop astronaut? What would you say, Biljana? I don't know. <laughs> People are you asking what way? In the way that uh, he created music uh, or... Uh, don't be That's analytical. It's not. <laughs> don't be analytical. Just answer according to how you interpret the question. These are general questions. So, do you think this is the first pop astronaut, in your opinion, Igor? If we talk about uh, popular in a way that is uh, not about music, no, I think. Uh, of course not. Exists uh, hours uh, more popular. Mm -hmm. There example, were. I, not exist. There were. There were. They were mm, more popular than than he. Mm -hmm. Him. Him or he? Him. Him. Yeah. Because I I never heard about him since this day. Correct to say? I have I never, have never heard about yeah, him about until him. today. Until today. Seriously, I have never heard. First time I see. Really, this guy yeah. has like millions of Facebook of uh, YouTube hits. Millions. He's he's like a 13 million or something. I don't remember. You can see it on YouTube. So it he's, depends. Maybe in Canada he's very popular from where he is. But uh, it's true. Yeah. But no one lives in Canada, Igor. It's empty. It's just <laughs> reindeer. And I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> I love westerns. <laughs> so, so Ahmed, do you think that? Uh, how would you describe this individual? His name is Chris, by the way. We're going to read about him a little short, little text about him. How would you describe this individual? Mm. If you had to talk about his talents, right? Yeah. How would you describe him? So imagine Igor had not seen the video. You had to tell him about this guy, uh, whatever his name is, Chris uh, Hadfield. Hadfield, I'm sorry. Chris Hadfield. Igor says to you, hey, who's this Chris guy? What would you say back to him, Ahmed? <laughs> I, will, uh, I will say the same with <laughs> this guy. <laughs> because, I, uh, because I am not into music at all. That's a problem. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. Remember, he's the pop astronaut. I don't. I don't think music is the main point here. Okay. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Uh, Vincenzo, how would you describe Chris now that you've seen him in space? If, for someone who doesn't know him, how would you describe him? Talking uh, about his talent. His talent, and uh, in my opinion, uh, Chris is the first. Pop astronaut in the world. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and, uh, he's a crazy, crazy man. He's a crazy man. Yeah. And he's, a, he's a mustached man. Mustached man. Yes. He's a crazy mustached man. He's a self-confident man. Because, That's true. <laughs> because, because he he sings in falsetto and doesn't yeah. mind being recorded. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's able to play guitar in the space. That's true. <laughs> and you know, and, uh, you know who else can play guitar and sing in falsetto? Rodolfo can, right, Rodolfo? Yes. Go for it. Sing in falsetto for us. Does anyone know what falsetto is? I don't know. Rodolfo, <laughs> well, sing in falsetto. You can pick any well, Bowie song you like. Turn well, on your webcam, get out your guitar, and make sure that you have no gravity, OK? <laughs> Oh, well, I don't have a guitar. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. And but, I, now, but now with 3D printers, we can just print you one. Do you have a 3D printer? Yeah, uh, yeah but I don't have a 3D printer. Ah. <laughs> All right, next time, Rodolfo, next time. F okay. f falsetto is like from opera. When you use, you sing really high and you use a different part of your throat, you actually use more like your nose. So he goes... For here, he sounds like he's trying to sing oh, okay. opera at one point. Yeah. But on the does, does he sing in the space? Really, he only open his mouth in uh, the space. Uh, no, but no, no, no. Uh, the real. song is recorded on the air. It's, it's true. They 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 did some post production, or maybe I'm not sure if they did live production or post production. They definitely added something to it. But uh, no, no, it's real. It's 100% real. Can you see a microphone uh, uh, near his throat where he sings song on the video? Can you see some microphone? I think, no, I don't think so. I think he's lip syncing, but, uh, but he recorded in space. Yeah, it's recorded in space, but uh, he doesn't sing. He only opened his mouth. Uh, yeah, no, he sang in space. I think he just lip synced it afterwards, if I if I understood correctly. I don't see a microphone on him, because the problem is yeah. But this sound, what you hear, it's not recorded in the space. This sound, what you hear, it's recorded on the earth in the studio, professional. In the studio, yes. No, I don't Professional think so. I, th I think I, I, you know what? I'm not an expert. I'll find <laughs> out. But I'm pretty sure it was recorded in space. I'm pretty sure. Video is not... recorded in space, but no, no, audio... the sound too. No, no, the audio too. Uh, can you they... see a microphone here near his throat? No, but listen. What you I'm have saying. a listen microphone near saying. your listen, throat. Listen, we can listen, hear you. Listen, listen. <laughs> if if uh, he, they did post production on it, so that uh, he might have been lip syncing. Right, but he recorded the sound uh, in space, and then they cleaned it up on the Earth. Uh, but just because he's not singing in the video being recorded, doesn't mean he wasn't singing in space. The problem is, this microphone very close to my mouth, right? And he didn't have a way to do that in space, so he would be recording the entire sound of the spaceship. So it would sound very weird. Uh, so I maybe, think what he go for it. Maybe. Is uh, that room in in ship? In ship is uh, in the ship. 
in that ship is a uh, accordion. I don't know how to say that. An accordion? Yes. <laughs> like like one of the, an accordion like this? <laughs> or do you mean a recording studio? You mean one of those instruments? I don't no, I'm confused. No, wait, I I find word and then I say. <laughs> okay. Come back to us on uh, that. Acoustic. Acoustic. Acoustic, yes. Oh, you Wrong. mean yeah, you mean it was soundproofed. We can say it was soundproofed, meaning that well here's the thing, right? There's a vacuum in space, so there's not going to be any sound from outside. There is no sound in space. Like like acoustic room in studio. Right. Not acoustic, but soundproof. Soundproof. Okay, soundproof. That uh, when you have acoustic foam that that absorbs the sound and the yeah, maybe it is. But I think it's more. Anyway, I don't know. The thing is, I used to record sound a long time ago. Uh, so I know a little bit about it, and probably it was recorded there. He told everyone to be quiet. <laughs> he, he recorded it. They put a, they processed the sounds because there was probably background noise. But he couldn't sing live in the video because the microphone that he had would pick up the whole room, and so he probably lip-synced it that way, I'm guessing. But as far as I know, it was all recorded there. Um, what I'd like you to do is, uh, we're going to read this short text, and first, before we do that, I have something I want to ask you for vocabulary. I'm going to give you, uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I'm, I can't really do this here. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to quiz you on vocabulary, but I want you to pay attention to the words in bold. These are some words that are hopefully new and interesting for you. And then we're going to work a little bit on describing people with talent and describing talent itself. Okay. So this is a really short text. Anyone want to read? You do, Biliana? Excellent. Oh, okay. I, th I thought it was Biliana volunteering. Because I, I can see behind her profile and I see her waving her hand. Calling me. Calling me. I'm a bad reader. You're a bad reader. Okay. Well, why don't you why don't you start, and then we'll go down the list to whoever said me. I think it was Rodolfo, and I think Roman as well. So you start us off, Biliana. Uh, Chris Hadfield. That. That's correct. Chris Hadfield was the first Canadian to walk in space. He was also the first Canadian to command command. The command. In, command the International Space. Space Station. Some say he was the first astronaut to make space travel interesting for every, everyday people. Good. By the way, as you know, English is not spelled the way it's pronounced. So, it's spelled astronaut, but it's, but it's pronounced not. Astronaut. Oh, oh. Astronaut. That's it. Good, good. So, Maybe in this first paragraph, we see another reason why he might be the pop astronaut. Maybe they're giving us a clue here. Okay, who was the one who said me? Was that you, Rodolfo, or was it Roman? I couldn't tell. Yes, I it was. Go for it, Rodolfo. You're next. It is from people. Uh, after Everyday People? Next okay. paragraph. Oh. When the space shuttle Apollo 11 landed on the moon, Chris Hadfield was nine, year old, nine years old. This left a lasting impression on him. At the age of 16, Chris got his pilot's license. 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 Good. Okay. Uh, after joining the Canadian Armed Forces, he, be he began working for NASA. Hadfield went into on two space shuttle missions in 1995 and 2001. He was ecstatic when NASA offered him a chance to command the ISS. His crew Excellent. arrived at the ISS on December 21st, uh, 2012. Excellent. Uh, remember, pay attention to the words in bold. We're going to come back to them in just a moment. Okay, who's next? This is very short text. Who's next? Go for it. Okay, Chris. Uh, 
at field spent five months as commander uh, of the ISS during this time he became an internet sensation he started a YouTube channel and posted incredible photos and videos to his Facebook page he also tweeted from space skyped from space and played music in space people loved watching him perform everyday but, um, okay everyday routines in space uh, they also loved the cool stuff he did like unveiling Canada's new five dollar bill and performing the ceremonial book drop for the Toronto Maple Leafs home opener. Yeah, what, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of what kind of sport uh, do the Toronto Maple Leafs do? What kind of sports team are they? If they're using a puck, all of our Russians know this one. If you're Russian, you know this one. Because only two people in the world <laughs> like this sport. Canadians and Russians. Am I right? Hockey. Any Russians out there? Igor, oh, yes, yes, I said hockey twice. I oh. was aware that my mic was muted. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's it. So the, the puck is the thing that they shoot into the goal in hockey. That's it. Okay. And, and the ceremonial drop. Diana, what's that? What's the drop? The puck drop? Do you know what that means? I don't know. Igor, do you know? What's the puck drop? Do we lose Igor? Could you type it, please? Yeah. What happened to Igor? Did Igor disappear? Maybe he was kicked out of the system. Igor, if you're out there, I will never forgive you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take this personally. So, the puck drop. A puck is the thing which uh, is pushed by hockey sticks. Mm -hmm. What does it mean when it drops? Exactly, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> in, the in, in the beginning of the game, how does the game start in hockey? Ah, the ah. Re referee drops this puck onto that's the it. ice and right. they kick it. Uh, right. Who kicks the first begins the game. Yeah, back up just a second, Bidiana. Not who, but whoever. The team. No, no, no. I'm correcting something. Not who kicks it first, but whoever kicks it first. Mm. Oh, whoever. whoever. Yeah. When you're making a generalization, when it, to make it more broad, uh, it's whoever. And one more correction, too. <clears throat> In this game, you were not kicking because we're not using our legs. So what's a better way to say it? Not kicking, but Hit. what? Hitting. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. But it's not Miliana, it's Nadia. Oh, I didn't I didn't even know you came in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I sent a message to you. I know, but I can't see the I can't see anything. That's why. Oh, okay, okay. I see. That's yeah, why I I, you see me looking around the screen like this because I, I don't know what's <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, know what's I going on. Wonderful anyway, Eric. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> I've got to. I, I, I'm going to start wearing a tuxedo to these classes. This isn't good enough. And a uh, bow tie, gonna, please. I would like a bow tie. Someone send me a bow tie. I know that Betty Louise is going to send me a cape for Grammar Man, but that's later. I need a bow tie. For reading, we're going to do tuxedo and bow tie. Okay, where did we leave off? Um, okay, so hopefully that's clear. We've got, yeah, I think it's just two more paragraphs. Okay, let's do the last two. Anyone want to read? Yeah. Who's, go for it. Go for it, Mr. Atai. Okay. Uh, begin, from beginning. Yeah. From bringing, yeah. No, okay. Bring, uh, bringing fun to space exploration wasn't hard field only mission abroad the ISS. His crew, his crew had over 150 scientific experiment, experiments to perform. Many experiments started before the launch. The launch Launch. Uh, launch. La launch. Launch. Uh, scientists are studying the effect of space travel on astronaut bodies. They want to. They want to know uh, to know how space affects things like blood pressure and bone mass. 
Excellent. And we want to know in this class the difference between effect and affect. So pay attention to those words in bold, and we're going to come back to them in just a moment. Okay, and the last paragraph, who's reading? I can. Go for it. Go for it. That means start. Um, Who said I can? <laughs> I, I said. The man. Go for it. Roman, yeah. Roman, go for it. Okay. When the last space shuttle landed in 211, many people... Wait a second, not 211. <laughs> <laughs> not 211, try again. 2011. Good. Many people uh, lost interest in the space program. Before that, most people were only interested in take off and landing. Headfield viewer go uh, down as the ast astronaut who showed everyday people how cool it is to travel and live in space. Will the job of an astronaut ever be the same? There you go. So why is he the pop astronaut? What did he do that others didn't? Did he go boldly where no man has gone before? Into the realm of pop music? I think he made his uh, job interesting for ordinary people. Not Absolutely, only yeah. People. Yeah, so he had a YouTube channel and he did all kinds of fun things to get people interested. Excellent. Teacher. Yes. Yeah, who's who's so, the teacher? Uh, Where do you see a teacher? Do you, are you talking to me? Uh, <laughs> My name's John Eric. Hello, Atai. My name's John Eric. Okay. Okay, my name is Atta. <laughs> Hello, Atta. <laughs> uh, what I was th I was thinking about is when I when I read when I read the first time the most pop astronaut when uh, I was thinking about music because he was playing music and I said and I said to myself perhaps they are talking about the first musician astronaut you know and and and, and for me pop was referring to uh, music and not popularity. Yeah, but it, but it means popular music, right? Pop music, popular. But okay. you're absolutely right. That is the idea they're trying to get across. But don't forget, we've also got pop art. Remember the 1960s and pop art? Remember that? The idea of pop is that we take something that's trendy, something that isn't considered yeah, high okay. art. Say again? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And, but... If we, but what happened in the 60s, of course, is that suddenly we began to take that stuff more seriously. And everyday objects could suddenly become art in a new way. So it, this idea that even commercial things were beautiful in some way. So, there's, so the concept of pop is a big concept. Uh, my, my idea here is just to make sure that you understand that it's short for popular. That's, that's all I wanted to say. But you're right. I think they're going for the idea of the first singing astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> the first singing astronaut. Um, just a quick question. Um, what, if you understood the text, um, what I want to say here, what inspired him to become an astronaut in the first place? Apollo. Apollo 11, right? Yes. So, what does that have to do with the with his choice of music? <laughs> what did Apollo Eleven do? I think he maybe uh, wanted to ex uh, explore the own interesting way uh, life in space. Maybe that he wanted to do. I, I go back a second. I explode. Uh, to to make marketing something like that. Mm -hmm. To uh, how how uh, to exploit? Do you mean exploit, to exploit? Yes. Exploit. Ah, <laughs> okay. Because I was going to say no one exploded. <laughs> <laughs> exploit. I'm going to write exploit in the chat window. So he wanted to exploit it absolutely. Yeah. Um, do you think there's any connection between his way of exploiting it? and what got him interested in the first place? Do we have any clues to that in the article? Uh, it said that 
uh, he was inspired by the Apollo 11 landing. Right. Continue and so what? And uh, so because, so uh, that uh, as the text says, uh, he, he became interested in that, and uh, he decided to be an astronaut. Absolutely. And so, what does that have to do with his pop status? Whoa. What what's the connection there? Do you think that something? Uh, what I'm getting at is. How did he, how did his excitement as a child that led him to be an astronaut, right? How did that affect his choices well, in popularizing is, what is uh, his job? In, uh, in fact, this is why I didn't. Uh, I I liked the video, but but I was uh, I, I agree with uh, Bill Jana. I think it was huh? her who said who said the uh, the video is not. Uh, uh, harmonic. There is no. Uh, it's not homogen. Right. You know, who, who said? Who said this? I think. It was I think it was Biliana. Yeah. Yes. Somehow it didn't quite work. Right. Yes. This is what I feel exactly because I don't see the link between astronauts' work and space working and uh, art. I think. Go for it. I think maybe uh, Apollo uh, was first spaceship. Uh, the first, the first one to land on the moon. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and when when uh, he back on Earth, when uh, he returned, when he returned on on Earth, um, people who was on that spaceship was uh, popular and uh, uh, they was heroes. Yeah, they and were. They were heroes. They were heroes. Absolutely. And, and he wanted uh, to be like uh, that people. And uh, because of that, uh, uh, he don't yeah, have yeah. choice. He don't Good. have choice to to be popular because he's uh, he is on first uh, spaceship. But uh, he have other way to make uh, to make a show in space to be famous and popular and to uh, to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. To knowing, to knowing uh, young people, young people is interesting to watch uh, shows and songs and to learn on that way. And mm -hmm. maybe young, he wants young people will be interested, interested in interested. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. So his uh, his target audience is young people, just like himself. And there's another connection too. What does that song have to do with Apollo Eleven? It's about Apollo 11, isn't it? <laughs> it's a song about Apollo 11. So uh, I think the idea is that he, we have an expression in English, to come full circle. Have you heard that before? To come full circle. In Russia, we say to make the full circle. To make a full circle. Same idea, I think. Mm -hmm. So how is Space Oddity, the song he sang from David Bowie, how is that coming full circle? Nadja. Uh, what I see that he was ecstatic when NASA offered him a chance to command this International Space Station because he was ecstatic when he felt, uh, uh, when he saw this Apollo 11 landed and he was so thrilled and excited that uh, it affected the ho his whole life and he wanted to share his childhood memories with the whole world and with teenagers in particular, that's why. Did it, just a question, did it... Did it affect his whole life, or did it affect his whole life? Affected. With an E or an A? Affected. Affected. With it. Spell it. A double F. Yes. E. Okay. I just want to make sure you're using the right one. Yeah. Because yeah. effect okay. is a noun, and effect is a verb. So to affect, yeah. to to a noun and verb. Okay. Well. So let let's let's make let's make a quick sentence to to distinguish the two. So Nadja, could you write the sentence you said in the chat window with affected? That landing mm -hmm. affected uh, uh, him so much. It may made uh, an unfa. Okay. Again. And just hit return so we can see it. His 
Okay. Like Was, this. Excellent. And could someone else take that idea and try to express it with effect? Or, if you're not sure, you can create a separate sentence. It's up to you. So, the, so remember, the, the landing affected him, that the landing affected him. So that's being used as a verb, okay? So the other one would be the result as a noun. Effect is like a result. So could anyone try to make a sentence with effect, just so I know that you know how it's used? Do I see people volunteering? I think I do. Do I see little hands up? We are shy. Roman, are you volunteering? Do I see your hand waving? Call on me. Call on me. <laughs> yes, yes, I try. So I should use the uh, word uh, effect? Effect, yeah. Effect. So the verb, the action is to affect, but the result will be an effect with an EFF. Effect. Okay, I try. Effect that uh, he made. Uh, uh, my. Um, you uh, make him very po uh, made him very popular. Okay. So the effect of using, for example, social media, the effect of using social media made him popular. There's in the chat window, that's a version. And it also and the effect was to he let me ask let me ask some questions here. So Mr. Atai, uh, whom did uh, whom did he affect with his Facebook page? Who was he targeting? I was his. Uh, I think. Uh, did you hear me? You think what? Sorry. Uh, I was. He was. Uh, his aim was to uh, uh, to give the to affect to, to, to affect. Yes, to, to affect. Uh, the teenagers, I think. Yeah. Okay. So he was targeting teenagers. He affected. He had affected uh, people in their adolescence to get yes. them as ecstatic as he was when he was a kid. He was younger than a teenager, probably. I don't remember. Ex it probably says, but I don't remember how old he was. Okay. Nine. nine he years. was nine. So he was really kind of a kid. Was that Alice? Yeah, hello. Hi, Alice. Hi, I, John. I didn't, I didn't even see you come in, Alice. <laughs> yes, I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, let's, let's look at some of the vocabulary here as well. I'd like to do that. Uh, so I have a few questions for you about vocabulary. I'm going to give you a definition. And the definition re relates to one of those words in bold. I'd like you to tell me which word you think I'm talking about. This should be pretty easy, so it's kind of like a quick review. Which part? Uh, the a whole thing. <laughs> okay. All of those bold words. There's not really? that many. There's not that many. Okay. What's another way to say very excited? Happy. Thrilled. That's true, but those aren't w the words in bold in the in the text, are they? Ecstatic. 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 Excellent. What about to be remembered for something or to be famous for something? How, what's the bold word or expression that was used? Lasting impression. <laughs> right. He made he made a lasting impression. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to go through a few of these here. Um, another way to say, um, this is a word which is in bold, but I'm sure it's not that obvious. But hang on a second. Uh, let me see where it is. Uh, yes. OK. So um, how do I want to ask this question? Uh, an, an interesting sports term. I want you to tell me what it is and what it means. An interesting sports term. Home opener. Excellent. And do you have any idea what that means? No. Uh, mm, not really, but Home I opener? think that Home it, opener is correct. It is, a, it is a person who... Not a person, but it's a game. Oh, it's a game. It's a game. 
But then I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when you receive your guests in your home country. Okay, okay, excellent. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's absolutely it. The first game probably of a series that begins at home and you are receiving the team. They're, they're your guests. Uh, it's like the World Cup uh, in Brazil. Like the World Cup in Brazil for the Brazilians. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. The first game would be like a home opener um, because there's going to be a series of games. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's a really interesting word. I don't know if you'll recognize it. Um, let me see if I can find the definition here. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, or well, the word that means to show for the very first time, but it's kind of a metaphor. I'll give you a hint. Unveil. 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 We, we use it uh, usually with the secret. We say unveil a secret. Someone yeah. unveil a secret. That's unveil. absolutely it. Okay. So the veil is like something covering your face. You take it off and you reveal who you are. Your exactly. veil. We say, we say exactly the same thing in French. Uh, excellent. How do you say it in France? Dévoilé. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna, you have to teach me that later. Oh, listen, we're, we're actually running out of time, aren't we? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know we, we were going over. So, listen, everyone. We're going to stop now. Um, I can post a little follow-up. Uh, I'm losing my, my, my connection. I can post a little follow-up homework assignment if you want to get some extra practice with this, um, with this text and with our conversation. So check back a little later, and I'm going to update this page uh, for that, okay? In the meantime, okay. if, you're follow if you're here for the first time, go to my profile, click Follow Teacher, and you can see uh, my classes. You should get a daily email. You also have my Facebook and Google+, okay? You can send me messages there, questions, comments, or suggestions. So we're going to stop now, and I will see you in the next class. Bye for now, everyone. Have a okay. good weekend. Goodbye. 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 See you, everyone. Bye-bye.